All right, so if your Samsung laptop, uh, Windows 10, isn't working with these function keys, so right now the brightness keys don't work, the keyboard backlight keys don't work, the volume keys work, um, but yeah, a lot of these function hotkeys don't work. So what you want to do is press the Windows key, or you can just click the Start menu down here. Then what you want to search is uh, Store. All right, just type in the word store and you want to go to the Microsoft store. Let me lock the focus. All right. So you want to go to the Microsoft store. Once you do that, you want to search and you want to go Samsung settings. Okay. So you want to go to the Samsung settings and then press enter. There's two different apps, but you, whichever one works for yours. So I found that this one should work. So here it says get, so just click get to download and install it. It'll ask if you want to sign in if you didn't sign into your Microsoft account. I'm just going to say no thanks. It doesn't need that to work. All right. And then now it says I own this app, so I'm going to click install. Okay. So is it really going to make me sign in? I hope not. Okay, no, I can close that. All right, so Microsoft keeps trying to make it seem like you have to... Um, sign in but you don't all right so it says this pro program's installed so now we can launch this here it says um, oops here it says Samsung settings additional service package must be installed okay so just click install there let this install okay so hopefully once it's done, here it says install driver. So to run Samsung settings, you need to install Samsung system event control driver. So just say OK. Let it do its thing. It's probably going to pop up another thing in a bit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, the brightness is getting all crazy. Let's launch this. Uh, OK, you need to install. So it's still waiting for that, I guess. Um, hmm. So, I wonder why it's not auto installing itself. Or maybe it's in the background. So, let's see. I'm going to see if it's installing itself and then I'll be back. All right. I'm going to pause this. And if it's working, I will be back. Oh, I just noticed. So, it says I have to install it using Samsung Update. So to do that, what you're going to want to do, I think we have to actually go to the Samsung website. So let's do that. So open up a web browser. Okay. We're going to go to samsung.com. Okay. Um, if you're not in America, your website might be different. You might not be using samsung.com. But anyways, go to the support here. Okay, sorry, I know it's like getting all blurry or something, but go to support, and then on the left side, go to manuals and software, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to, oops, sorry, going back to the manuals and support, okay, so you want to select your device, so of course this is a computing device, we're going to go to, of course, Windows laptops, because this is a Windows laptop, going to go to notebook here and then we're going to enter in the laptop model number so I think this was NP940 something something um, let me double check the bottom so if you're wondering what your laptop model number is on the bottom of the laptop it's right here NP940 uh, Z5L dash X01 US so NP940 Z5L Alright, so I just flipped that over, NP940Z5L, so I'll just do that, and here you see the X01US, press on that, it should go automatically, it doesn't let me click confirm, so I think it's actually going by itself, yep, it did, alright, then we're going to go to downloads, we're going to download the software here, okay, it asks, uh, mine asked me where I want to install it. I'm going to um, or save it to the desktop. Okay. Down there. All right. So once it's done, you can close this if you want. Um, I'm going to minimize this. Okay. So we got the software update thing here. So we're going to open this. Okay. 
Um, depending what kind of unzipping file you have or WinZip or whatever or WinRAR, it'll open like this. I'm using 7-Zip. Then you can just drag this out to the desktop and you have the file like this. All right? Then you're going to double click this file. If it gives you this app has been blocked for your protection, what you're going to want to do is go to the start menu again. We're going to go to reg edit. Okay, R E G E D I T, go there, registry editor. Okay, and then what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to open all these folders. So I already opened all of them. But uh here if you start at the very beginning, okay, you'll see we'll open H key local machine so I actually wrote um, did the whole path there HK local machine software Microsoft Windows current version policies system so once you open all the way down to there so let's open that so once you open system you'll see all these files here we're gonna go to enable LUA double click that and change this to a zero all right after you change that to a zero just click OK and then we're going to have to restart the computer. You'll see this warning pop up that you must restart your computer to turn off user account control. So just click that and then click restart now. All right, we'll wait for this to restart. This might be a semi long process. Okay, let the computer restart. I need to get like a good tripod so I can record this stuff better. But, um, yeah, hopefully you'll get the point from this. All right, so then now that we remove that, we should be able to open this, the software setup. Okay, it's installing. So you can see it's installing this. All right, once it's done, just click close. It says to use Windows Update to check for any dot net stuff so you need that as well all right after you do that we can open the software update here okay let that run let's open up the store again and see what it wanted for the samsung settings to run okay let's open the samsung settings oops sorry all right so let's try and launch this again and see what it said so we need oops so we need the Samsung system event controller. So let's see if that gives us an option. So let's close that. The software update thing is still loading. It takes a while. <clears throat> system event controller driver. Okay. Hopefully this will have that driver. The only problem is this program this software update I don't know if there's one in the store is there let me see um, let's try because this other program okay let's try Samsung update app maybe this actually has it so um, I searched the Samsung update app in the store to get this I don't want to sign in Hopefully this has the driver that I want, and I clicked install there. I'm going to close this because I don't want that. All right, because this program, the software update one that I just installed earlier, last time I did that, it just um, had Windows 7 drivers. So let's try the Windows 10 store. Let's launch this. Samsung update. Okay. Samsung update is not responding. Huh. Okay, it wants some other files, so say okay. Geez, all these Samsung apps, they require extra <laughs> software to install. It's kind of being annoying. So let's see here. So that means we probably won't need this. If we need this, I'll use it. But uh, right now I'm going to skip. I'm going to wait and see if I can do it with this Windows 10 Store programs. Okay. So let's see. It's searching. All right, just click I agree. It's still going. Okay. App drivers, useful apps. You can just go through this. You can probably just skip the whole thing and then say start. This model can be supported through a Windows update. Interesting. 
If the Windows version installed on your computer is lower than Windows 10, driver may not be installed properly. Okay, let's see here. So it's not showing any drivers at all. So let's see. I mean, I updated everything to the Mac, so it's not supporting here. So I guess let's use the other thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did all the Windows updates. So let's check Windows updates. See, all up to date. So Samsung's just being a pain. It's not working properly with Windows, which I thought they got a partnership with Microsoft. So I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, so let's try using the software update that program we installed. Um, so let me look up the model again. All right, so we're back here. All right, so we'll do the NP940Z5L, and we'll search that. Okay, when we search that, then you see all these, and it was this model, the X01US. Depending on your model, you might click something else. We see Windows 7 here. There's no Windows 10, so I'm just going to click Windows 7. I'm going to uncheck all these drivers, and let's see if it has the driver we were looking for. So let me go back to the store. Um, I'm going to go to this download thingy. Oops, sorry. I went to this so I can see the app that I just recently installed at the very bottom. Here's the Samsung Settings app. Okay, I'm going to try launching it and then see what it said again. So it says system event controller driver. So let's see if that's in here, if we can put the Windows 7 version. If I can't even do this, then there's no point. So I don't see a system event controller driver, so... I don't think we can fix this issue. We have to like ask Samsung for special software. Chipset driver patch support center. Recovery solutions display update color engine. Yep, I don't see that specific thing. So, I don't know. I don't see it on here. Um, but I guess depending on your model, you might be able to do this. Uh, it looks like just on this model, it doesn't want to work. So, I don't know. Normally, you can go to the Samsung settings, install that. And normally, you can do the this Samsung update thing to do it. So, I don't know why. When I try and launch Samsung update... It gives me, like, it doesn't have this model for some reason. This model can be support, supported through a Windows update. I mean, I did all the Windows updates. It doesn't let me search my model or anything. So, I don't know. It's very strange. Um, anyways, uh, hopefully your model is different and this will help you. If not, I'm sorry. Um, I hope I was hoping I could help, but... I don't know. Apparently this model, it's somewhat new and Windows or Microsoft hasn't started supporting them yet. But yeah, anyways, um, this was kind of a waste of time, but I'm going to post the video anyways. Hopefully it will help somebody um, if, their, if their model is different. But for now, it looks like this tutorial is useless on this model. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.